Hey, I love you lot. How the devil are you? Hope you're all good. So, it's nearly four years on into the project now of this motorhome. And I'm only just putting up coat hooks. Crazy, eh? I've got this one on order, on an order local shops that you'd normally get. And I couldn't find one that was the right length. Um, yeah, I could have bought one. I could have made one. I could have made one. But I thought let's have a little look on the internet, and I got this from. It's it come from a shop, but it come from the internet, so it was delivered, unfortunately. Um, but it's actually well, it should be. I haven't even checked yet. It's in this box. It should be the right because obviously there was a coat rail here before. There was a set of coat hooks here before. Um, don't don't worry, by the way. Um, I know this wall. We haven't decided if we're going to paint it again or wallpaper it yet. So I'm just because I want to use. We're going to go ho on holiday at some point this summer and I won't get round to doing this just yet so that's why I'm mounting things up now I can always take them off um, get an idea where we want things and then we can decide what we're going to do with the, de the decoration you know the, the decor as you say um, <clears throat> anyway yes if the box fits what's inside it is going to have to fit so that's perfect from there to there and there's obviously one there before so I'm going to put it in exactly the same place hang a few coats and hoodies there because whenever we go out on holiday we, we end up coming indoors and um, taking our jumpers off and coats and then just holding them in our hands and we're like all right where are we going to put them and we end up just stuffing them in the wardrobe you know so having somewhere to hang them is going to be good so let me open this up and i'll show you what i've got there was a choice there was a choice of either white or that colour and I went for that colour um, I know you're going to say well why would you do that you've got a white ceiling you've got white walls I know but we're going to change the colours of the walls and things and all the woodwork in here like you can just briefly see a lot of that's that colour it ain't far off is it um, I know someone's painted it grey but what can you do I mean anyway I went for that end of story full stop so let me put all the hooks on it put it all together and then we'll mount that up. I've got a few more things as well that I've just come across randomly and I thought, bloody hell, they're gonna come in handy. You know when you just you know when you're just so happy and you think, my god man, like just it's brilliant. Like it's just well that's me all the time. Anyway, let me put these hooks together and we'll have a look. Now don't worry, I checked the length of the screws first against that and the wall to make sure it weren't going to come through to the other side because that would be a disaster. If the screw went through the wall on the other side of our newly done bathroom. But I put this coat hook a little bit lower than I was originally going to for now because I've got something else that I've got and all of a sudden it popped into my head. This will be brilliant putting one there. It might not be to your taste or appeal but I reckon it will be handy. It might look a bit weird, but don't forget, I can always take it off. It's not a permanent thing. And we're gonna redo the wall anyway. We're probably gonna wallpaper it. So that's on there. Just double check. Even though it would definitely be far too late if it had gone through. Uh, yeah, so what I've got, these little net things. I was looking for them because I wanted smaller ones that I've got to put up where the kids are because I'm going to put, I'll show you later, but I'm going to put like a 12 volt little charging station sort of thing with a, like, a little shelf and I thought I'll put a little net there and they can, we can put our phones in it and whatever else while they're charging up, you know, a little 12 volt thing um, so we can charge them up even if we ain't on mains. Anyway, I found bigger ones while I was at it. So, I think one there would be quite nice because then we can hang stuff up on the hooks and then any like little things that can just go in this net and I think I think that's quite good but it's not the end of the world if we don't like it you know I can just take the screws out put filler in the holes um, there's other screw holes that you can't see probably there that I've got to fill up anyway and if you wallpaper this you won't even notice it so I'm gonna put one there I think like that right there just above it, about there. Gives enough room for the hand. Happy days. All right, let's go and find some little short screws now, because they've got to be really short little screws. There we go. 
What do you think of that? I'll show you indeed in a bit closer up in a minute. I've got these little black caps to go over the screw holes. There we go. Don't know how I'm going to get them off later on if I want to take them <laughs> to get a little screwdriver or something and ping them out. But it makes it look a lot better. I think that I think that's going to come in handy because it's right by the door as well. I don't know about you lot, but all the times we've got the door open, we're all sitting in tables and chairs outside, and there'll be something I want, and I always put it on the top or the side or something somewhere just in the door. So with that being up there, I can put keys and whatnot in it. And if I want something, all I've got to do is step on the step, reach up, take it out. I, rec I reckon that'll be good. But you don't know these things until you try, do you? You know? So I put them little caps on there. Like that. And let me let me show you what I've done. Look. So there we go. Got nice coat hook there. And the net thing above it. I mean, yeah, it might oh, it's black on wood. I don't care about what all you lot think anyway, to be honest. Um, but this wall, all of this wall, this whole lot, and this is going to be repainted. These are going to be re. This door's going to be repainted. That's going to be filled in. And I'm not sure if we're going to paint this wall. Uh, probably just this one. That one's probably going to be done at some point. Maybe left like that, but it'll be tightened up. Might stay the same colour. We're not sure yet. Um, but this one, which is like the the bathroom slash wardrobe wall, we're not sure if we're going to wallpaper it. Find a nice wallpaper for it to make it look a bit nice, or if we're just going to paint it. Might repaint it white. We might paint it a different colour. We're not sure yet. I've got to make the little cupboard thing for that. I've got to go down and buy the matting. Um, I want some black like mat, like doormat material here. I'll cut the carpet there. I'm going to put a door strip there to join them, and the matting is going to go in there and all the way around. Uh, and that way you can walk in, and because it's black matting material, like a proper doormat, doesn't matter about if it gets dirty because you won't see it. And also, if we're cooking and we drop a bit of food, because originally I had the carpet going right up there, didn't I? And then I thought to myself, bloody hell. That ain't gonna work because if we drop a bit of food or something, it would stain the carpet. So this is all gonna be like a bl black doormat, and I think that'll be. I reckon that'll look quite nice anyway. I reckon that'll be all right. I'm gonna get some uh, screw-on like uh, blinds. I'm gonna get two of them at some point put there, but they're quite expensive, so I'm waiting for that. I'm gonna put a little bungee right here because this is where our windbreak is gonna live permanently. Up against the wall there, but obviously it falls over. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a elastic strap, screw it there, screw a hook there, and then when we want it, all we got to do is undo the hook, take it out, and hook it back. That's in the process. Well, that's one job done. Now let's go and have a look at some other little jobs to do, shall we? So all this bathroom now, it's all been redone. It's been all the walls are all brand spanking new new skylight and everything it did use the old sink because uh, a new sink was expensive we've got a new shower tray and everything um one thing i've got i'll show you in a minute i'm going to change it but the, he didn't he didn't mount the shower head it's just kind of left flapping around and i don't want to put screw holes or anything like that in in my new wall because it's all it should all be watertight now we don't intend on really using the shower, but it's there if we wanted to use it. Do you know what I mean? If the shower blocks were down or we were somewhere that we didn't have any shower, because all the water pump and everything were 12 volts, and the boiler is gas, so we could have a nice hot shower without having any mains if we're at off grid or something. So that's why I wanted to fully work in shower. But I don't want to drill any holes, so I had a little look in a camping on a camping website on a camping shop's website and there weren't really much on there at all that would help me out so i resorted to a place that i don't like buying things from and found this extremely cheap very very cheap in fact i'm surprised how the hell they can make this and still sell it for what they sold it for made a profit i have no idea but they did and uh it's a sucky one it, it sucks on and you put your shower on there. And I think it'll work on here. So where am I gonna put it? Why does that work? It goes like that, does it? Right, okay. So, I'll have it. I think I'll put it. Can you see where I'm putting it? Not really. I think I want it there. Would it be all right in the middle? I'll put it there. I can't always move it. It's a sucky one. 
that sucks on there like that. Happy days. All right, that's going to work. And then, oh no, it's it's too. Oh, you can't even see, can you? It's too small. <laughs> it's too small. Well, it does go in there, just not very well. I might have to. I'll have to get that to go. In. Oh dear, it's not going to work. That's it. it can come down a bit like that. Oh man, it's uh, the shower that I've got. Is, well, it does go in. It's just it's just not very good. But we'll do, we can do that up so it doesn't move. There we go. Well, it's there anyway. <laughs> it is up there. Whether it's going to stay up there is a different story. But let me just show you the the tap sound that I've got. I want to change it. Um, hopefully, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. No, I'll show you. So what we've got at the moment is it's literally hot and cold tap straight into the shower, right? Um, obviously I can unscrew that, take the shower off, and I'll have to go and buy a tap end. Um, I'll have to go and buy a tap thing and put it on there. But obviously what I want to do, I've seen them, I've just not looked, I don't know where you buy them from, but I've seen them on caravans. Um, it's got both. And if you want to change between the shower and the tap, all you've got to do is just move a lever and it diverts the water to where you want it. Hopefully, I should be able to just undo that and undo that and then take that off with any luck. I don't want to have to take the sink out because it, he's, he's sealed it all up. Oh, looks like it's a bit broken under there. He sealed it all up. I did notice he forgot to seal around there though. So that's not very watertight, is it? That's going to go straight from under there. And that's not very watertight either. Yeah. But I've obviously got a little bit left to do. And he didn't plumb in the plug hole either. All that plug hole. That goes straight down to the ground. It doesn't go into the waste tank. So I've got to do that. He said the reason he didn't plumb the plug hole in was because he put a new pipe on because the old one fell apart in his hands. But the new pipe's too fat and doesn't go over that plug which he put in. So I've got to buy a new plug hole. And then I can attach the pipe. And then I can put it in the waste tank. But we'll get there. We will get there. I'll have to have a look to see if I can find the tap I want. But at least I've got the shower up there. That's a little job that I wasn't expecting to do, but I did. So this is, there's 12 volts there because there used to be a fan. You know, like the old fans that you get in old cars, <laughs> like a, a chrome metal fan with blue blades, flick it on. Well, there used to be one of them there. And so I got rid of that, didn't want that because we got the air conditioning fitted. So I thought to myself, this is the bunk bed here. All around here is the bunk bed. Wouldn't it be nice if I could put a shelf there, a little shelf, um, use this 12 volt, which is here, and I believe it definitely, I'm not done for definite, but I believe from my little inspection, it comes from the leisure battery, which is what I want. I don't want it to come from the car battery. I want it to come from the leisure battery. Um, I put a little charging dock here, sort of thing. A little 12 volt one with your USB things and your whatever, so we can, have this as like a little charging station for phones and stuff. And I thought that would go nicely there. Maybe there, put a net with a shelf under it, what I've got yet to make. The charging thing above it, or maybe the charging thing below it, haven't decided yet, but it'll be somewhere. And uh, yeah, just slot phones and whatnot in there. I think that would be quite nice there. So. I'm just going to screw this little one on there now. I could stick it on. They give you sticky things, but it's not going to stick very well on that carpeting material, is it? So I'll just screw it on, I think. There we go. Look at that. And I have got another one as well, because I was I was thinking about putting two there. Um, but I think I'll wait and see what I'm going to do about the little shelf. I, put, I decided to put that a bit lower, because I'm thinking I might put the shelf above it and then put the charger... I don't know yet, but anyway, that's that's there now. I can always move it. It's not bloody set in stone, is it? It's not, you know, but yeah, brilliant. I've noticed as well that a um, while ago, when the door was put back on, he'd only put one screw in each thing. 
and I noticed that the door, where we've been using the door it's starting to come off so I'm just putting two more screws and one there and all of these because he's missed all of those out there was obviously a reason I mean you know the bloke knows what he's doing there's obviously a reason why he missed those out but I've got the same screws so there's no reason why those screws can't go in there so I'm just bulking it all up because I don't want the door to start coming off um, yeah another little job on the list I've got to mend that at some point as well just having a look at this door because it whenever we drive around this door always flies open randomly so I just noticed <laughs> I hadn't realised it, but the, <laughs> the, the latch for the centre, there's a little latch there. <laughs> well, that's missing now, so right, so that was explained some of it. I've only just noticed that. And the other thing, the bottom one does catch, but the top one only just catches, so I, I can fix that, no problem. I'll just put some washers underneath that thing. I might be able to undo that screw. I noticed there's a screw missing here. So I don't know whether that was missing before, but it's missing now anyway. Um, I'll just put another screw in there, that'll be fine. I don't know if I can extend that. If I take that screw out, if I can lift that up so that that catches on there a bit better, because it only just catches. Um, and that one's well and truly catching. I might better move the mechanism up, but let's investigate. But anyway, I've only just realized that the bloody thing's missing. Bloody hell. It's been about four months and of using this and I've only just realised. Right, well, that catches now. It looks like just by putting a screw in there, I know it looks a bit crap, doesn't it? I'll have to get a matching screw for that one. I'm just going through things now, you know, getting things to work and I can come along and do cosmetic things later on. That's the way I work anyway. Everyone's different, aren't they? But that's the way I do things. Um, Anyway, putting a screw in there to stiffen this up, and it, it actually holds now. It's more, it's only just about blow it. Um, but anyway, it holds now, um, which is more than good enough for a bathroom door and a bloody motorhome anyway, so. That's that done. That door's a lot more stiffer now as well, Jesus. That was all flimsy and wobbling around before, and that wood had started to split where it was only one screw in. So at least now, that's a nice and solid door. Um, I'll repair that where the, la the laminations come apart and when we decide what we're going to do whether we're going to paint this um, or might even wallpaper the door like the inner part of it and paint the outside and give it a bit of a 3D effect not sure yet uh, really really not sure but these things it's a job for the summer when the weather warms up even more is when we're going to do a lot of painting and stuff like that get stuff functioning how we want it, put things where we want it like them, and then we can do painting and wallpapering and decorating afterwards and get it exactly perfect. The other day I was, bloody Jesus, focus. The other day I was looking through, not looking through, putting things in here, what I wanted and things. This is like my little cleaning cupboard, I suppose you could call it. And um, my hand caught something sharp, and I was like, what's the bloody hell's that? Well, there's a screw poking through there and a screw poking down there. So I had a look over here, and we've got, a couple of, uh, well we've got two screws jammed in there and another one jammed up there but they're a bit long and I was thinking what the bloody hell is that one? <laughs> won't focus on it look <laughs> and it's a little bit annoying look that's come off the wall there obviously because that is, uh, he's put, well, he's put a new roof on he's put a new strip along there well that's that's not held on the wall up there unfortunately it's come off and there's a bit of a gap there now but it's the the cupboard itself the cup oh, bloody hell, zoomed in the cupboard itself is perfectly sturdy i mean it's not going anywhere and it's all sealed along anyway so it's just a little bit uh annoying really but you find these things as you go along and you put things where you want them you see the attitude is this is a 32 year old motorhome isn't it you know so any repairs done they're not going to be done to this doesn't matter who you get to do it they're not going to be done to the standard of if this was a two-year-old motorhome do you know what i mean so there are going to be little blemishes here and there even with brand new things that have been done to it but 
we're getting there and I'm slowly getting things how I want them not decided yet whether I'm going to put a television in here probably not to be honest because we don't really tend to watch TV when we're out and about but we've got a TV aerial put on I know you're probably thinking why have you got a TV aerial then got a TV aerial put on because there might be times when we want to put the TV in I'll just take the TV out of the bedroom indoors at home and bring it with us it's only a little one it'll be fine we'll just bring it with us and put it back um, I don't think we're going to have a permanent TV in here it's just not worth paying that 120 quid for a television we're only going to use it probably i don't know four weeks of the year permanently but when we go out and about we might but i doubt it can you smell that oh it's lovely it's like bloody what's it called I forget what it's called Pony, pony and something or another. Mmm, love it. Have a look as well. Curtains, curtains are up, lovely jubbly. And this side, lovely jubbly curtains. Pineapples. Everyone loves a pineapple, yeah? I've got another one, look. I was thinking about putting it on the door. This is the wardrobe door. I was thinking about putting one on the door. Maybe I could put two on the door, look. Put one there, one there. Uh, get rid of them old ugly stickers and I could probably put one there maybe. But I don't want to put holes in the door. But am I being silly for that? Not wanting to put holes in the door because someone's already ruined it by painting it. And I was thinking about putting them in not inside the wardrobe on that wall there, look. I reckon that'd be quite good. Inside the wardrobe on the wall. Got a couple in there. I might do that, I don't know yet. Not today but probably at some point during the week, I'm gonna wire in another plug. It's a white box, just imagine the white box. I'm gonna put one there, I think. That'd be perfect for that. Nice little double plug right there, right on this top here, so we can plug things in and have the wires going in. All I've got to do is go through, there's a plug socket right there. So all I've got to do is take that panel out um, then I can just tap into that plug literally on the other side of the wall couldn't ask for better than that and that will go on there lovely jubbly I've got another one I've got two of them I don't know what I've done with it in there somewhere uh, there it is got another one but I haven't got a box for that I've got to get a box for that I don't know where I'm going to put that one yet I wanted to put some plugs over this side because look we've got a little place where we sit and the dining table and that I did want to put some plugs over this side but that means all, all the 240 is on that side at the moment. And if I want to put plugs on this side, I've got to run a cable across, obviously. How am I going to do that? I'd have to go through the floor, underneath and back up through the floor. I can't go across the ceiling anymore. Well, I could. I know some of you are going to say, well, of course you can, but I'm not touching the roof. The roof's all freshly done and it's got a guarantee on it. So if I start messing with the roof and it leaks or something happens, he's gonna say, well, I'm not gonna honor that guarantee, you've been messing with it. So I can't touch anything to do with the roof for a year because that's how long the guarantee is. Um, so if I wanted to put 240 on the other side, I'd need to find a way of routing the cable. But I think what I'll do, I'll probably keep it all to that side. It's easy then, a fuse box is in the cupboard and it's just easy. That one I've just shown you is gonna be piss easy because I've got plug socket the other side of the wall. So all I've got to do is take that wooden panel off, take stuff the wires in the back and bring the cable up, stuff the wires in, happy days. Um, I did want another two somewhere, but I'll find a place. I might even put them in the cupboard, you know? Hidden couple of plug sockets, don't know yet. I think sometimes it's the little touches like that, for example, that, that's pleased me. I know some of you lot won't like the black mesh netting thing there you know i know some of you won't like that but i like it and that's pleased me and i think it's the little things that you do it doesn't matter what you've got you could have a brand spanking new motorhome or caravan or whatever it is you've got you could have a brand spanking new one and you'll still want to do your little touches to it your little bits that make it yours that make it you and it's them that bring all the happiness man that's what i think 
Now, I've put that in the wardrobe now, and I think that's bloody brilliant there. What I am going to do is get a bit dark in here now. I wonder if I, I've got night vision here. Let me, uh, bloody look at the night vision. There you go, it works. Now, I am going to put in here a shelf. So I'm going to take that rail, and I'm going to bring it down. The trouble I've got is, well, I know I'm going to sort it out. I'll show you that later on. It doesn't matter. I'm going to bring the rail down. I will make a way of attaching it to the shelf. Don't worry about that. So I can still hang things on the bottom of the shelf. And the shelf's going to be roughly sort of here. So enough so you can just stack, put a few jumpers or T-shirts or whatever on the shelf, right? This table has got no way of, of staying there. Let's take the night vision off. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? This table just sort of flaps around. It's, I don't know where it's supposed to go. There's nowhere to actually put the table in here. I don't know where it would have gone originally when this was a new motorhome, I don't know. Um, but what I'm gonna do is to cut a little notch out of the shelf. So we slide the table in diagonally like that. And that way the shelf will keep the table in place. Happy days. And that the coat rail will be hanging from the bottom like a bloody square U. I'll make a little bracket. I might even get a new one and get rid of that one. Um, and that will be a nice little shelf in there. I can't wait to get that done. Because um, then that will be the wardrobe done then. Now I've just got to paint in there and make it all nice. And um, that will be all that done. But little little personal touches are what make it, it all the happiness in the world. Anyway you lot, I'll catch you lot on the next one. Thanks for just stopping by and uh, having a look to see the progress on this. And if you've got a Talbot, I've had a few comments from some people who've also got Talbots. So if you've got one, just put in the comments, what have you got? What's the model of it? How old is it? Because I'm interested in all that. I like all the Talbot stuff. Um, and if anyone's got a, a Talbot, I don't know how you pronounce it, is it Bedwin? Bedwin, that's what I've got. And then you've got a similar setup to this where you've got the little dining area here where the table comes out and the two chairs if you've got one of these and you're breaking it or anything like that I need the cushions to match that there's one on eBay it's a long way away from me but he wants to sell the whole lot the whole thing um, as a part spares or repairs and I'd love to get it I'd love to be able to get it if I had somewhere to keep it because then I could just take all the good things off of that one the only reason it spares repairs is because the clutch is gone. I could even just repair it and sell it, but I haven't got the space to have two of them. And I've only just got the space to keep this one. Um, but I asked them if they would sell just the cushions, and they said no, which is a bastard, because that's all I need. The previous owners to me threw out the old cushions and got these silly ones made, which are extremely uncomfortable. And I'd like the original cushions to match the, uh, you know, the, 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 the original pattern. And at least that way everything matches plus they'll fit properly because these ones they had made up don't actually fit on the bed properly um but yeah i'd love to be able to buy that parts one they only want 1400 pound they want for it the whole lot everything yeah it won't drive because the clutch has gone 1400 pound jesus man it is in rough condition but if i had enough space to keep that i would have gone and got that and then i could have taken all the good parts off of it and made my one a mint one because it would have all the little niggly bits i'd noticed some things that are not good on mine were good on that one uh but anyway i can't i can't do it i haven't got the space to keep it um i don't think my next door neighbor's gonna let me use his driveway somehow um but yeah if you've got the cushions uh, and you're breaking it and you're breaking the whole motorhome and you've got them cushions or maybe you've got new cushions and your old ones are in all right condition let me know i might buy them off you because I, I need them because I, I don't like these ones I can go to a place and get some made but that's mega expensive anyway I'll see you lot later on all the best you lot treat each other nicely and we'll see well I'll see you on the next one take care